Nessa Sunshine here and today we're getting into a battle of the concealers. So I have the e.l.f. camo concealer on my right and the A Dose of Colors Mitra Hue on the left. This is one of my favorite concealers and this is my first time trying the beloved e.l.f. camo hydrating concealer. So on stories about maybe a three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago, maybe a month, I'm not even sure. I asked on my Instagram what your favorite concealers were and I got a lot of e.l.f. Hydro Camo concealers and then there was a whole, or hydrating camo concealer and there was a whole thing where I didn't realize that there were two, like the camo concealer and then the hydrating one. So everyone was saying that this was the one, so I have it on today. Let's go ahead and see their application. Let's go ahead and get into the application. I'll also be adding some check-ins and then um, in the last in the last check-in, I will tell you which one won for me and yeah. So if you're interested in this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like it if you like it, don't like it if you don't, let me know as well. And let's get into the battle of the concealers. <laughs> Okay, it's time for Battle of the Concealers, so let's go ahead and apply the concealers. But before I get into a Light Beige Hydro Camo Concealer from e.l.f. and the number 13 Light Medium Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer, I have to put on primer and foundation. <laughs> okay, so I already, have, I already have my face pretty moisturized. And if you want to see a tutorial on this eye look, it's coming. <laughs> I'm in the middle of it actually. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and prime my face. I have the Il Maquillage Primer. I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation in 117 Light Medium. So uh, yes, I'm going to apply it. And by the way, I have a code for the month of March with Dose of Colors Vanessa Sunshine. It is an affiliate code and I will also have an affiliate link so that is commission based if you want to use it feel free to and save. I'm going to go ahead and pump this on my hand. I'm going to take this handy dandy uh, Morphe sponge and I'm going to uh, pounce my conce concealer. This is not concealer time. The battle is coming. We are prepping for the battle. So I'm going to go ahead and bounce this all over my face. <laughs> and I'm going to blend, 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 blend. I'm going to blend a little bit more on my nose. I'm also going to put some on my ear. Um, <laughs> so now, let's see. And on my lips, why not? This will be on my right side and this will be on my left side. A good way to tell is when I do my check-ins, I have a mole. Is it a mole? It's like a giant freckle. I have a mole on my right side here and then one that's a little bit darker. Sometimes it's covered here. This one is more obvious. That's my right side and then this is my left side. In past Battle of the Concealers, I was using my like Instagram story video that flips it to record and it was getting confusing. So right side, left side. Elf Camo Concealer, Dose of Colors Concealer. Elf right side, <laughs> Dose left side. So we're super clear. So I'm gonna apply them the same way and then I will set them as well. I am listening to an audiobook currently when I'm not filming in between <laughs> takes um, about the secret life of plants, but that is not what today's video is about. It's about the time. <laughs> it is 5.17. <sighs> I'm gonna breathe in, <laughs> take a moment. We're getting into battle here. Battle of the con concealers. <laughs> okay, I'm being extra silly. So I think these colors match. Let's just make sure. I think this may be slightly darker, but it's just what it is. Okay, so I'm going to add it right in here and then up here and then a little bit right in the inner part of the nose and a little bit right there, okay? And I'm just gonna let it sit because that's what I do. Concealers now. Same thing on this side. I'm going to add the uh, Meet Your Hue, mute, I'm adding the Meet Your Hue Dose of Colors here and there. Oh Lord have mercy, this, I have so many little frizzy hairs. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit right in here and right here, and then I'll add that there. I forgot about the other side. 
and now I'm taking the other one and just adding it. That's just gonna be a mixture for the end. Um, we're not gonna check the chin. <laughs> I'm gonna use one side for this and then I'll use the other side for this. And I'm going to go ahead and look up into my mirror. I was so surprised with how many people said that they like this concealer and I'm like barely hearing about it. Like, where have I been? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows where I've been? I just really love the Dose of Colors and the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. Those are my two favorite concealers. Yeah, no. No. I just haven't been trying any other concealers. But this is looking, this is looking very, this is very nice. I have a, I love this so far. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to switch this. So this side's a little bit thicker um, in the sponge because they have like a, a bit of a more narrow. There's a narrow, okay, anyway. I'm blending this out. So I'm taking the thicker side of the sponge, blending, blending, blending. Yeah, I think this side's definitely brighter. I don't know about the camo concealer. I don't know if it will get darker. I don't know if the camo concealer um, oxidizes, but I think the dose of colors one oxidizes. We have a, a very bright under eye and this one's a bit more natural. Um, just looking at it right here, this is definitely really hydrating. That's really, really cool. I'm gonna take the butt of my <laughs> blending brush and just kind of blend them together here. I like to kind of blend on my lips too. It's time to set. I'm going to scratch off the excess. I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna press. And I'm gonna press, press, press and set everything. Scratch off the excess. I got more scratched off the excess and I'm going to press, 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 press and and now I'm just going to press and set the rest of my face. So I'm setting my forehead as well. Everything is going to be set. I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer, blush, everything, lip off camera. I am going to take a look. So um, I have fine lines and I, on this side with the camo concealer, even though it's hydrating, oh, I got some glue on my hand. Okay, so my first impression, yeah, it's they're two different colors. The hydrating camo concealer um, was a bit darker so it didn't brighten up this part of my under eye. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It may look pretty similar on camera. Up close though, the dose of colors has completely concealed for me and covered everything. Over here there is depth and then as I go in closer and I look, the camel concealer actually has set into the fine lines under my eyes just a bit more and the Dose of Colors concealer is a bit smoother. It is nice, it's just, it's not as nice as this so far. This is my first impressions, we'll see what happens. I will be adding some eyeshadow and liner to this part of my eye. Um, that will be in a different video. And then I will have a few check-ins from here. Let's see what my thoughts are and we'll finish my final thoughts in the last check-in of the night. So it's 9.45 and I'm doing a check-in in the car. I have, uh, my husband and I have a smoker in the backyard of my in-law's house. So we're gonna smoke a brisket. And if you know anything about brisket, that takes a long, long time. But that's not what this is about. I'm up close and personal now. So my right side has the hydro. My left side has the dose. I don't really see too much of a difference. Now the hydrating one is really hydrating. Because the right side is so hydrating, the liner started to kind of separate in the inner corner, if you can tell. I do have like a skin tag or two on my right eye, unfortunately. Um, but that's just that. That's That has nothing to do with anything. I feel like I have more coverage with the Dose of Colors concealer. And Dose of Colors is a high-end concealer. e.l.f. is an affordable drugstore concealer. So what can I expect? I'm kind of thinking maybe I should do this again with like Maybelline versus e.l.f. Because Maybelline's um, 
which one is it? The one with the sponge. That's my favorite Maybelline or drugstore concealer. So maybe I should do that again. But let's see what happens later in like an hour or two. So yeah, I I love the Dose of Colors concealer because it has more coverage. So yeah, let me know which one you like better. It's 11.35 and I am checking in from home now. So we were... We're smoking a brisket. We're letting it go overnight. We're not spraying it. If you know anything about brisket, we're not spraying it. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> but again, that's for another channel. A barbecue channel, maybe. But this is about makeup. So I, um, I'm i really tired. I'm going to take off my makeup right now and go to sleep. But I just took a look up in my mirror. Let's look up close. So everything's kind of, my face gets really oily at the end of the night. So on my right side, I have the Camo Concealer. And on my left side, I have the Dose of Colors Concealer. I believe the Dose of Colors is the winner of this round. The coverage is great and the creasability is much better in comparison to here. The Camo Concealer has really settled into the fine lines I have underneath my eyes. Now I really think I should go ahead and try to compare the Camo Concealer to another drugstore concealer because I don't feel like this is fair. The Dose of Colors Concealer is just one of my favorite concealers and I I just, I'm amazed at how many people love the uh, e.l.f. I think I should try to compare this to another concealer. But yeah, so I brought you up real close. There you can see everything I am an oily mess. I need to take off my makeup. But yeah, the hydration was just so hydrating that it hydrated my liner <laughs> into a smudge. Um, yeah, I really, really love the Dose of Colors concealer, though. The Dose of Colors would win, in my opinion, on this round. But again, um, I just used what I thought was my favorite. But I think I should have done a comparison with another drugstore concealer. So... I'm definitely going to give the e.l.f. another chance. I would really like this for like a really fresh without like a lot of powder because in like just to take pictures and videos and stuff, something that I want to look very natural and only use a little bit of, I feel like that would look really, really pretty. I really, really love the Dose of Colors concealer though. So, um, and Maybelline's concealer, the one with the sponge, I still can't remember. Adri Wine. That's my favorite drugstore concealer um, that I've tried so far. Besides the ColourPop. ColourPop's not necessarily in the drugstore, but it's very affordable. I really like the Pretty Fresh concealer from ColourPop. That's also really nice. I would say that that's very similar to this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I'm going to close the video without knowing what the results are. But definitely the Dose of Colors the left side one um, for me today. So I hope you enjoyed again. Okay, bye. <laughs> Good night. I'm going to go take my makeup off and go to sleep. Okay, so those are my check-ins. I hope you enjoyed the battle of the concealers with the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer and the Dose Meet Your Hue Concealer. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you've tried both of these and which one you prefer. If you like this video, comment down below and let me know if you'd like to see more sort of a battle of the either concealer, foundation, whatever. It could be a battle of anything. Um, we can do more of these if you like. It feels like we're in a, um, a boxing ring or something with these concealers. This was really, really fun for me. I had a lot of fun. And yeah, this eyeshadow look is coming, by the way. So I decided to do this in between. And subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye now. Mm -hmm.